I'd like to show you something using these four cards. They're not ordinary cards, though. They have pictures on them, pictures of top hats. About a hundred years ago, most men wore these kinds of hats, just like today they wear baseball caps. And magicians decided to do magic with those hats. I'm going to show you what they did using these four top hats. First thing magicians did was turn the hat so the mouth was up, which is kind of weird. Why would you hold a hat with a mouth side up? Second thing they did is snap their fingers and produce a rabbit. And that's how the legend of the rabbit out of the hat began. So we have one rabbit and one, two, three, four hats. One snap of the fingers and we get the second rabbit. Now, when magicians first started doing this, they used to borrow the hats because everybody had one. So people knew there were no rabbits hidden behind or in the front, and they knew that there were no rabbits hidden between the hats. So even when you try to dump the rabbit out of a hat, it wouldn't fall out. But if one little snap of the fingers, and you'd produce the third rabbit. So now we have one, two, three, four hats, three rabbits. We're running out of room. Instead of producing another rabbit, what I'm going to do is snap my fingers and make one of the hats disappear. So now we have three hats, three rabbits, one home for each rabbit. But you know, magicians stopped doing this trick for one simple reason, and that was rabbits were messy and they multiplied. And pretty soon the magician's home was overrun with rabbits, and they decided to stop.